Hello! Hello! Okay. Time for another epic time with Carl's brain. Let's see him. Hmm. No. Oh, that's my face. Oh. I seem to have discovered camera software. Okay. Oh no! Rotate, you fool! Life is about choices, and choices is about knowledge. Uh, I thought we would start on all of these talks with like a little message, you know, of like, you know, solace and 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 warm-heartedness. Okay, where was I? Look at all, not all of these fucking things are upside down. What the fuck? Okay, so. This is how it all starts. Carl is fucking. <laughs> what is Carl doing? Carl is just watching stuff and his mind is going crazy. Okay, what's next? Um, right. Right, more than one. Okay. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm thinking about this weird concept of like hard in the center and then like kind of just fluid around, right? And then I suddenly have this idea, okay, look, what about like hardness wouldn't just be one point, it would be like a whole bunch of them. And they're all hard towards each other, right? It's like this hard structure in the middle that has like this kind of crazy fluidy thing going around, right? I don't know, I was thinking about emotional stuff as always. And I eventually start developing. What's this? Oh, fuck. Right. Rotate left. I'm sorry to be such a, a mumbler. Okay. So then I'm thinking, okay, well, what, what's going on between these two guys? It's like, well, I guess there's like a, a force going on between them. You can move. No, oh, oh, that they're shaking. I suddenly thought that these two, are, there's a movement between these two, right? It's not just fixed. Uh, that's what this is supposed to represent, and then all this kind of stuff in between. Um, sorry about this fucking terrible. Okay. Now I'm thinking. Okay, movement. Great. Movement this way, movement that way. X and Y, right? And then in between, like. What would what would manage the what what would the relationship be like? Well, it's like you know the first thing I think was a, was a thought of was a spring, you know, and then the other thing I thought of was um, I don't know what you call this a dampener, a damper or dampener, right? So you have both of these things, right? That would control the movement. Then you can actually move this guy up and down, the, you know, in, uh, in the axes. Okay. Okay, now I'm thinking, fuck, why, why just have one, why just have two, you know, you could have a whole group of them, right? And every single one of these guys has springs in between, right? And then, and then I thought of rows, like, because if you're going to control the strength um, of the springs, like you, you want to decide what the strength of the spring is, um, you could do it globally, but maybe you'd want it in terms of rows. You know, like you have this row that's uh, really strong, like a skeleton, and all of the other ones are soft. And you can imagine moving this guy; it'll be like moving like a mattress or something. You know, like a, you can imagine what this would look, what, what this would feel like in real life. Um, next one. What am I thinking? Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. I really should stop editing my work afterwards so I can talk through it. Okay, row resistance. X, X prime, X double prime. Okay, well that, this is interesting. It's like, okay, I talked about a spring connecting two dots, right? Two balls, um, and then a dampener. And I thought about what that actually means. And all it actually means is what uh, resistance, what creates resistance? Does movement create resistance? X, 
does the speed of movement create resistance x prime? That's what a dampener does. If you move a dampener really slowly, it doesn't give. If you if you have a dampener and you and you really slowly start to open it up, I mean a dampener is just um, uh, not to not to not to presume that you don't know this, but like a dampener is like a syringe, right? So you're pulling the you're pulling the handle, right? Out. You're pulling the syringe out, and the faster you pull it, the um, the more resistance you get, right? So that's velocity, and the spring is just. You know, the, the amount you pull it, like the more you pull, open, try and open up a string, the more it pulls back. Um, okay, and then so this is speed. And then I was just thinking, well, fuck, you could just keep going. You know, I don't, I, and to be honest, I don't actually know what that means. Like for, um, um, yeah, I guess I should mention that I'm, t <laughs> that I'm thinking about uh, how it is that we're going to edit this, this thing. Okay, well, I'll get there, I'll get there. Um... Okay, so I was thinking here, you have row resistance, like you have these rows of springs, and you have the middle row, and then you have row naught, one, two, three, four, and it's just all these rows, and you could actually, you could say, okay, I want row naught to be really stiff, right, and then all these other ones to be, to be flaccid, you know, or you could have like, a whole function of like the resistances based on row. Of course, you have all that. You also have the columns, and I mean, it's a sheet. You know, you could you could have a resistance pattern that looked like crazy. You could have an image. You could put someone's face onto it. You know, in terms of the resistance pattern, like what is the resistance to all of these three elements? You know, that's a it's a great way of looking at it because it is just resistance, right? It's not just a spring. It's a, it is a spring, but it's a very complicated, it's, it's a very, it's, it's a spring that understands both movement and velocity and blah, 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 right? You can define as many of them as you want and that covers everything and that's nice and it's simple and then, right, okay, moving on, moving on, moving on, uh-huh, ooh, I like this one, okay, rotate, you can't, I don't know why they all, the wrong orientation okay okay and then I was thinking columns like what we we're talking about before is like predefining the resistance along these lengths for each different length right what about columns and and by columns I don't mean these predefining them along here I've, I mean predefining these guys you know so if this was really stiff and this wasn't you then would have like this planar thing going on here with these like kind of you know these kind of floppy outside guys um, it's kind of seems odd what I just said, but don't worry about it. Okay, moving on. What we got here? Okay, so just like I was saying, you have a spring and a dampener and blah 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 blah. But I think just totally cordling in a spring and remem always remembering that it has all these different properties. It's not just movement. You know, would probably be a good shorthand to have. Okay. Now I'm thinking, fuck, it's not just the position, right, that this thing is at. It's also its rotation. You could you can rotate this fucking guy, right? And it has a, a volume as well. Like, you can also change its scale. And, um, by the way, I read, um, I read online on the Unity, in the Unity documentation, that they recommend that scale should always be the same value for X, Y, Z. You shouldn't change it. Um, the reasons were because of rendering, you know, the way in which they render scenes. So I guess that kind of only applies to, that kind of only applies to the actual graphics pipeline. But fuck it. I'm thinking that's a good thing to have anyway. I mean, the, the editor is suppo only supposed to do that, like, not always, but like generally that's what they recommend. I mean, if you actually do s click and try and scale like a point, like it's, it does assume that you're creating all of them. So it really is just a single scalar value, right? And I think we should stick with that because it, it, it really does um, um, match what we need. Um, you know, I, if this is confusing what I'm saying, like this all ties into what we've done so far and I, I, I'm just trying to make a point and it's taking me, I'm, you know, it all made sense in my head and this is this process for me kind of um, elaborating it. So just... Just bear with me. I know it doesn't all make complete sense. Um, let's see what. Let's let's just go with the slides. Um, tool 
move left to move right. If, uh, if, it, if, if while I'm going through this and I suddenly realize that according to the end it still doesn't make sense, then I'll fucking, you know, I have to kind of quickly, you know, turn tail and, and hope to not have to waste your time to see it again. Okay, so, okay, so you've got the scale at each point, you've got this rotation and you can move this point around. Now just imagine what it'd be like, you know, you've got the sheet of balls that are all connected by these very fancy springs. Um, you can take the ball itself with your hand and you can rotate it, right? I mean, you know, you can imagine now you're creating this like dent inside of it or you can move it around or you can scale it. Like just imagine, like just ex trying to say expand with your mind. I mean, it's literally saying that you want all of the points around it to start moving away, right? So, so you move it down and you've got this little dent and you can shrink it up and it starts getting sharper and sharper the dent. Right, or you can like expand, and the dent starts getting like 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 flatter and flatter at the bottom. Right, I mean the the you know talking about it in terms of maths, I feel like is um, a sign of not really understanding it. Like I feel like this is a real evolution in terms of understanding it. We can imagine it like this: just grab the fucking ball and move it around and see how all the other guys react. Right. Now I'm gonna go fucking crazy with this. Did I just show that one? Well, this one looks like it's the fucking same thing. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, maybe I just, no, okay, it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, okay, so this is just an idea for like, okay, if we actually, we actually in the editor, what do we want it to act like? like what what do we want the editor to do? Like how how would we do this? How do you grab a fucking ball in 3D and start rotating and moving it around and expanding it and contracting it? It's like well I don't know if this is already part of Unity. I wouldn't be surprised. But I was thinking fuck it. You just click on it and the moment you click on it and start moving around, click and drag onto the fucking thing in the editor, it just assumes you. The moment you click on it, it just gives you this X Y Z right. And I don't want to have to go move and click and say, oh no, I want to move now, fuck that. Let's just say, let's just make a standard, right? You click on it, you're going to move it. And it shows these um, axes, so you can just select the axes. That's how you have to move it. The moment you click on it, you've selected it, the axes come up. If you hold down control when it's selected, immediately the rotation box comes up, right? And if you, if you hold down alt, immediately the expand box comes up, right? And you can... You can um, you can click and use your mouse, but I'm thinking, fuck it. Why don't we also have it so that you can use the arrow keys, okay? Um, or something like that. It's just a just a flash idea I had. Um, what's next? Okay, so what the fuck? How the hell are we gonna do this? Like how? how do you make the fucking function, right? I mean, it's not just good enough having these springs connect everything. You need to know the position of an actual line that's going through. So I'm starting to just realize, I'm starting to just generalize this thing completely. So we start out, what we've got at the moment is just this line, right? And it has these points and all the points do is to say, okay, this is where the line must go through. And this is the rotation of the point at this line. You know, and this is the, you know, size of the, the connection, you know, these three elements amazingly um, that you use in 3D and I, I have this feeling that's all going to tie together in some profound way in the future. Amazingly, they all tie exactly to just creating this line. I mean, with a physical understanding of it, I think, uh, I think we'll become clear. Anyway, so we've got one dimension, that's where we are right now, just somewhere along this line, and it's a fixed line, and the fact that everything bends around and shit is, um, is irrelevant. There's one axis that you're talking about. But now if we have this sheet that I was talking about, then you're going to have to solve for some fucking function. Oh, and this is a function, right? You just put an X into this bad boy here, and what comes out of X? What comes out of F? is an XYZ in 3D, right? That's what we've done so far, right? And if you're gonna do it in 2D, then you put a, a, some kind of X and Y onto some sheet, and this sheet, um, you plug it in, and then bam, out comes this. I mean, this is a little bit deceptive. Um, I'm running out of time, so I'm kind of, 
Oh, freaking out. I'm not freaking out. I'm just... I feel like... I feel like...